Hello, my friend, and Happy New Year to you. I want to tell you this is an ideal time to get our tear-off calendar. Our tear-off calendar is something that I imagined that is short and sweet and really powerful every day. You tear off the page of the last day. You have a new message for the new day. Forty dollars and it will be sent priority, one for you and one as a gift. And we also have our other calendar feature, which is day by day. The same thing, two copies for the new year, $40 sent, one for you, one for another person. This is unusual because it goes through the whole year. There is a bookmark, and it is a spiral bound. So when you go to February, you turn the pages to February and you start there. Day by day, it will make your life better. I was walking through the subdivision the other night, walking my dog, and I heard fireworks go off. They were continuous. People were celebrating. And as I walked, I, I was thinking, are they celebrating the leaving of 2020, which has been a year that has just been miserable in so many ways? Or are they celebrating a brand new time, a brand new year with new possibilities and, and new hope? I pray that they are celebrating the new, the fresh, and the yet to be revealed. It's an interesting thing about human nature. Often when we've been through great pain, when we have lost a job, and <laughs> so many have, it's, it is uh, unbelievable of our readership. And I know the pain that you've felt or people that have lost a relationship. The human mind way is just to be kind of in shock, to stop, to quit. Maybe it's to heal ourselves. We think we're going to heal ourselves by stopping and quitting. But I tell you, my friend, when you're in hell, you have to keep moving. You have to keep moving towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Life is about keeping moving. And when you stop, you stay where you are instead of moving forward to where you want to be. Movement absolutely defines life. And make no mistake, you spring from life. God has given you a heart that beats forward. Living is defined by our tomorrows and hope and faith in the best that will be. Ahead of you are things that are yet to be imagined. I pray that 2021 is a container of your fulfilled dreams. I pray that 2021 is a time of great health. Now, there is fatigue there, too. There's virus fatigue. People are just tired of, of trying to stay safe. They're meeting with friends and family again. I was in Kroger's the other night, and I literally counted. There were 50 people in there not wearing a mask. And when we're so close to the solution, when we're so close to the vaccine, when we're so close to being on the other side of this, it is almost like a sin to, to get sick or or God forbid, lose your life at this point as light is streaming in at the end of the tunnel. 
We have to keep moving. We have to keep moving forward to a better day, not staying stuck or looking behind us. You know, where in the Bible it talks about Lot's wife looking behind her and turned into a pillar of salt. Well, that's interesting because in those days, the salt was an embalming fluid. In other words, you were embalmed where you were. You are no longer alive. You're preserved in the past. You don't want to be preserved in the past, and either do I. We are 2021 people. We will be defined by the greatness of this year. And oh, how I pray that it is great for you. I pray for each and every one of you. You not only get back to work, but you find new opportunities as the economy springs forth that you never had before. Greater economy in your personal life, greater prosperity and abundance. And of course, again, I pray for greater health, not just for Americans, but for every person around the world that we can look back on this and shake our head and, as it says in the Bible, shake the dust from our feet. In other words, we don't stay where we are. We don't stay in the dust. I pray that you're blessed. I am grateful as we go into this new year that you are in my life. I'm grateful that you're a part of this ministry, and I'm, I'm grateful for... So many wonderful things, but mostly to God for the continuous miracles that happen in my life, happen in the life of this ministry through you. Happy New Year.